ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your 36 physics tutorial. What if I did that every time would be super annoying, but you know, maybe I'll start, who knows. But you know what, in this tutorial, I'm going to start talking to you guys about the frequency of a wave. So the frequency of a wave is basically whenever you ask yourself, how often does a period occur? Well, that's basically what frequency is. So let's go ahead and assume that you had a pendulum much like before and this pendulum right here uh, it swung we'll say every second so every second this pendulum swung back and forth one second to complete that so remember the question of frequency is how often does a period occur well in this case we could say that frequency is equal to one cycle per second or you could also write it um, 60 cycles per minute. It doesn't really matter. There's not um, like a standard frequency that we use. Although, you know, with sound there's hertz, but we'll get into that later. It's basically the number of cycles over a given amount of time. Whether it's seconds, minutes, that's what frequency is. So furthermore, say that we had... Um, We'll do a little bit different example because more people have trouble understanding a frequency that's um, less than a second. So say that a pendulum had a frequency of one, four seconds. So one cycle over four seconds. What would this mean? Then obviously if we looked at this a little bit more, that would mean that if we reduce this, it would be 0.25 over one seconds. So if a pendulum had a frequency of one cycle every four seconds, then that would mean every single second it completed four swings. Do you understand? Easy enough. So now let's go ahead and take a look at an example that we may see in real life. Say that you had a table. Let me make this drawing good. I never make my drawings good. Okay, so we have this table. Here are two table legs right here. And, okay guys, you know what? I'm going to be proud of this one. Here's the table, right like that. And in our table, or on our table rather, we have a fish tank. And I might as well draw a little fish in there. Hey, I'm a fish. Look at me. All right, so here's our fish tank right here. And we also have a pendulum set up to the side. Now, what color should I make my pendulum? Oh, I was about to draw it green, and then I noticed, oh, my freaking background is green, so I probably can't do that. So we have our pendulum right here. Here's our point, and here's our pendulum that's swinging, and every time it swings, it hits the side of the fish tank. Now, again, I'm going to ask you to use your imagination and just assume or imagine that every time the pendulum hit the tank, it didn't lose any energy energy maybe this is you know an ideal we built the perfect pendulum but I know usually it would lose energy whenever it hit just imagine that it doesn't so every time it made a swing it would hit the side of the tank and whenever it did it would cause a wave to appear so let me draw this a little bit better alright so there 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 so here's a wave here's a wave and here's a wave so if the pendulum had a period of three seconds, then that would mean it would make a new wave every three seconds. Therefore, the frequency would be one wave every three seconds. Now, of course, you could go ahead and reduce it to 0.33 repeating over one second, but some people just think it's easier to, you know, it, it all depends what form you want to write it in. So that's what people have the most trouble with whenever it's reduced to less than a second. But again, the key concept of, the, of this is basically what frequency is. Whenever you talk about frequency, it's how often does a period occur? Now, you can go ahead and write it in a simple form like maybe if you have a simple frequency like one wave every one second that would be easy to understand but with more I, I want to say complex frequencies where you have them occurring less than a second it may be easier to to increase the time so that way you don't have portions of waves 